So Mesa 11.1.2 was released back in February, and I've noticed I haven't done a Mesa specific benchmark in a long time. Now this particular Mesa release isn't terribly interesting, there's no new features, it's just bug fixes, which is great, those need to happen. But if you're expecting some outstanding performance on this version versus the latest version, you're going to be disappointed. So with that said, let's make this benchmark a little bit more interesting. Now a benchmark I've wanted to do for a long time is putting DRI2 versus DRI3. Now DRI stands for Direct Rendering Infrastructure, and you can think of this as like a framework of different APIs for DRM to use. Now I don't want to explain exactly what DRI is or DRM, because that's driver and kernel level stuff, and that's a bit more complicated than I want to go in this video. If there's interest, I can go ahead and make another video on it. But you can think of the DRI as a framework that allows applications direct access to the hardware. Now with that said, DRI3 is an improvement over DRI2, but performance wasn't the goal here. It was actually around security and adding feature called DMA buff, which is related to loadable kernel modules. But the question this benchmark aims to answer is whether or not DR3 increases performance in a measurable way versus DRI2. Let's dive into the benchmarks and find out. Well, you can see DRI3 doesn't do a whole lot in terms of gaming performance, and that's probably because DRI doesn't really have anything to do with graphics performance in general. So hopefully you notice from the text overlay that I am in fact running this on my Radeon R7 360, and I'm also using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I hope you guys liked the video, and let me know how I'm right or wrong in the comments, and thanks for watching.